and even the folding of the flag shows forth this wonderful truth. The point of honor of the flag of the United States is a canton of blue, which contains the stars that represent the states that our veterans have served in uniform. The point of honor of the flag dresses from the left to the right. And the only time it is inverted and displayed in the manner in which you see it today is when it comes to serve as a pall on the casket of a veteran who has served his or her country honorably in uniform. In the evening in the armed forces of the United States at the ceremony of retreat after the taps have been sounded, the flag is then lowered and folded into a triangle fold and then kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The very next morning at the ceremony of Reveille, that same flag is then brought out and run up aloft as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. First fold of our flag is a symbol of life. This second fold is a symbol of our belief in the eternal life. And this fold we make is in honor and remembrance of this veteran of whom we are commemorating today. For he too have given a portion of his life for the defense of our country and our flag. We are here today to perform this flag forwarding ceremony in order to show this veteran's family and his friends that his efforts to obtain peace throughout this world have not gone in vain and shall never be forgotten. We fold to the right of the shape of a triangle for this represents our weaker nature. For we as American citizens do trust in God, and it is to him that we turn in times of peace, as well as in times of war for his divine guidance. We fall once again to the right as a tribute to our country. For in the words of your mortal Stephen Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right. But she is still our country, right or wrong. We fall now to the left of the shape of a triangle, for this is where our hearts do lie. It's with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. We fall once again to the left, as a tribute to our armed forces, for it has been through these same armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all of her enemies, whether they are found within or without the boundaries of our republic. We fall out to the right of the shape of a triangle as a tribute to the one who have entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day this fold is made to honor mother for whom it does fly on Mother's Day. We fold once again to the right as a tribute to our womanhood, for it has been through faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the characters of the men that have made this country great have been molded. We fold now to the left of the shape of a triangle as a tribute to Father, for he too have given of his son for the defense of our country, since she was first born. Now we fall from the stripes toward the stars, or whereas the stripes represent the 13 original colonies that founded our republic. They are now embodied in the 50 sovereign states 
represented by the stars so that the stars will cover the stripes. We fold now to the right of the shape of a triangle for in the eyes of a Hebrew citizen. This represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. We fold now finally to the right for in the eyes of a Christian citizen. This represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. After the flag has been folded, the stars are uppermost, ever reminding us of our national motto, in God we do trust. Yeah. After the flag has been completely folded and tucked, it then takes on the appearance of a three-cornered cocked hat ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones and they followed by their comrades and their shipmates in the armed forces of the United States of America have preserved for us the rights, privileges and the freedom of which we are enjoying today. On behalf of the management and staff of the Heavenly Gates Funeral Home, and also on behalf of all the veterans and citizens throughout this world, we present this family with our nation's flag as a reminder of the contributions your loved ones have made in uniform in the armed forces of the United States of America. This flag may be flown on all national and federal holidays, and also on Father's and Mother's Day. May God forever bless and keep each of you until we meet again is our prayer.